Okay, folks, so right now I want to kind of just break down the uh, changes to the box arts um, throughout, uh, throughout the different versions of the game. So I'm going to compare the... So, of course, in the middle we have the official soundtrack. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, we have the guidebook here for the game. We also have the um, the original classic PlayStation 2 box art edition. Um, these are the photos on it. Okay. Never really got old. Always used to love looking at the back of this box. You know. Just, just fantastic animation, you know. Brilliant. All good stuff. Um, and then, as you can see, the, the, the PC version has, has slightly different images. Okay. So there we have some changes that were made to the PC's box art. Um, but yeah, uh, just something to note. Um, and then, of course, this is the box for the official uh, soundtrack. Now, of course, I get into the soundtrack, of course, you know, I didn't, it wasn't as big a success, the soundtrack, as the GTA Vice City soundtrack, but it does have... You know some some uh, brilliant music in there. You know, of course, if you liked the different radio stations, um, the guidebook actually contains all of the different radio stations with all of the songs throughout the game in there. So I'm going to go through the guidebook first, um, and we'll show you all the contents about the game. Okay, we got nice images there. We got playback FM. So. You get your hip hop music, you know, your rap music, or B, uh, nightlife in the game. There's your country music, K Rose, Bounce FM, KDST classic rock music, you know, gun stores. And Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was also, I, I forgot to mention earlier, that it's, it was the first GTA game to be able to fly, I believe, to be able to pl fly airplanes in, and you could go from different airports as well you know go to your Los Santos to your Las Venturas um, and just sprawling with so much content so much um, activities to do in the game you know you can play basketball BMXing you know um, and all of the other things like taxi driver and stuff that you could do in the previous games as well so, um, you know, mo car modifications as well, being able to access a food restaurant, getting tattoos for your protagonist. You know, it it'll be interesting to see what they do with the next Grand Theft Auto game when you think that this game uh, is 20 years old now. You know, it's, um, it's going to be interesting, <laughs> you know. And then there's all those big bridges you could drive across, you know, and so many different vehicles, you know, lots of different vehicles in the game. And just a phenomenal story, you know, like like I was saying earlier, just a brilliant story. But anyway, <laughs> I'm kind of drifting off now. Um, yeah, just said I'd uh, go through the rest of the, the, the radio stations here. So, you know, you have your SFU War, all the different music in the game, you know, house music, you know, your reggae music. And it even, look, it even shows some of the different artists here, you know, the album arts. I think that was really cool, you know. They don't make fancy manuals like this in games anymore. That's a really big thing to, to mention. You have the Clown's Pocket Casino. Yep. Just other releases and stuff and things like that in the back. Look, uh, Midnight Club and all that. Anyway, there it is, guys. There's the, um, the, the guidebook. And the different box arts, okay? So that's more or less that. Um, but yeah, getting back to the music, the official soundtrack, you know, lots of great, um, you know, country, mu country, country music and rock music in there, you know, everything from, you know, you had Eddie Money, you know, you had um, uh, the classic Horse With No Name, then you had songs like, um, just take a look at it there, <laughs> can't really remember. So the ones that the soundtrack contains are, you know, you get the official theme music. You get uh, "Killing in the Name." You get um, two pack. I don't give a. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> James Brown, the payback. Uh, West Coast Poplo, guy groove me. Uh, two tickets to paradise, pressure drop. 
cold blooded. Um, you get like some bonus tracks and stuff there too. Um, Barracuda by Heart, Hood Tuck Me Under, some of those um, rap rap songs. Uh, yeah, uh, just again, like so much great music in there. Um, I thought they would put more songs on. Honestly, there there should have been a lot more music that they didn't. They probably didn't get the licensing to release it. But um, yeah, there's pr some pretty decent tracks on this. Uh, obviously, it doesn't contain all of the music from the game. There's like over a hundred songs in the game. It doesn't. It only contains like a few. But um, yeah, um, that's it right there, guys. It is the official soundtrack box set. Or I should say, not box set, but official soundtrack CD for the game. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it for box arts. Um, San Andreas uh, officially twenty years old. Uh, a huge milestone, groundbreaking game. Um, it's it'll be interesting to see um what happens with GTA Six, I suppose. Um, and also, um. What are your thoughts on the on a, a remake? Does do you think do you believe that San Andreas needs an official remake? You know, like not a not a remaster like the definitive edition. A lot of people talk about, you know, the fact that the game needs a full remake. Um, I definitely believe that the game needs a full remake. I have talked about it uh, a bit bit here and there before. Um, I would love to see San Andreas get a, a proper remake. 